heck is happening in behaviour support? I'm Amanda Wood and I've got over 25 years experience as a behaviour support practitioner. I've written hundreds of behaviour support plans and supervised well over 50 behaviour support practitioners in that 25 years. And I'm really concerned about what's happening in behaviour support at the moment. The National Disability Insurance Scheme has changed the way we provide services to people with a disability across the board. We lost a lot of good, experienced behaviour practitioners in the transition into the NDIS. There are still many, many good practitioners and great service providers in the behaviour support space. However, there's some not so great behaviour support plans being developed for a variety of reasons that include funding issues and tick box requirements. We've lost the process of individualised positive behaviour support. And in many cases, it's becoming a checkbox paper exercise at times. Behaviour support was never meant to be a paper exercise or about ticking boxes. It's about improving the quality of life for someone with a disability. Behaviour support is a clinical area that requires clinical skills and an understanding of the person for whom you're developing the plan. The written plan is really the documentation for what supports the person. The written plan should outline what the practitioner and the person in the support networks is doing. Um, it shouldn't just be a paper plan that's passed over and left on a shelf. I'm committed to ensuring people with disabilities receive ethical, person-centred, quality behaviour support. They need practitioners that get to know the person, that spend time with the person, that develop the plans for the person, that have strategies that are about the person and their environment and help build their quality of life. Good behaviour support shouldn't be copy and pasted. There might be elements that look similar and, and domains in a plan that are similar to someone else's plan, but the plan shouldn't be the same as someone else's. The skill development should not just be a chore that the person needs to, to do. The skill should be about reducing their challenging behaviour and improving their quality of life. And the assessment should be evidence-based using what works and should be clear. The plan should be written in a way that it's easy to implement and put into practice and it should be reviewed and it should be an ongoing process. You should have regular communication with a practitioner and you should meet them a number of times. Sure, there are funding constraints that come into place because the NDIA dictate how many hours of funding a practitioner has. But 10 hours of behaviour support is 10 hours of behaviour support and it should be 10 hours of quality behaviour support. We have a webinar that outlines more about how to identify good behaviour support and it's on our website at realtherapysolutions.com.au in our learning hub. I'm calling out to people with disabilities, to carers, to support coordinators, to disability organisations, to anybody who can advocate for good behaviour support, who's seeing these plans. Don't accept poor quality behaviour support People with disabilities deserve better. There's too much at risk here. Together, we can ensure that all people with disabilities who need behaviour support receive that quality, ethical, person-centred approach. So please feel free to go to your practitioner and ask them about the plan. Talk about what needs to be in it for it to work. And if you're not getting anywhere, maybe consider asking to speak to their supervisor. We need to get this right for people with disabilities. Please reach out to me if you've got questions or if I can help in any way at amanda at realtherapysolutions.com.au. I don't profess to be the only expert in the field of behaviour support. There are many people with expertise and some of them with a lot more than me. However, I think we need to step up and we need to support good quality behaviour support and call out in a nice way, in a consultative way, when we need more from our behaviour support plans. Thank you.